You ever feel like you just can't pick up the girls that you really want at bars and clubs? Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and I put out new videos every Tuesday and every Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button and smash that bell so you don't miss your chance at that next awesome girl. But anyway, man, clubs, bars and clubs are kinda like my forte. I love going to them. It's easy for me to talk to girls in that environment. It just gets me fired up. But for a lot of guys, it's the complete opposite. They just don't know how to handle things in those types of environments. And there's a few big reasons for that. Trust me though, it's not as hard as you think. Today you're gonna learn why most guys can't get girls at bars and clubs and how you can flip the script so that you can. Let's get into it. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. So one of my favorite excuses guys make about why they don't like bars and clubs is when they're like, bro, like, I just can't go to bars and clubs because I just don't drink and it's not gonna work. Last time I checked, and hey, I could be wrong, but bars and clubs do not force alcohol down your throat. They don't require you to drink 10 beers that's your that's your choice, right? And it's not like there aren't gonna be other sober girls in the venue or at least other girls who've only had one or two drinks and aren't completely plastered. So you do have other people to talk to. So no, that is not an excuse. That is some Jamal bullshit and you're gonna cut that out. Now on the flip side of that, a lot of guys actually get too drunk when they go to bars and clubs and it sabotages their whole night. Bruh, you see that girl over there? The boy's about to go lay this Mac down. Check this out. Hey chica. Como estas? How you doing? No gracias. Ah, uh, most guys will use it as a crutch. Like they, they'll go in, they'll know they want to talk to girls, but they'll get a couple drinks with their friends. Then before you know it, they've had three, four, five drinks and they're starting to get hammered and they still haven't talked to anybody yet and the night just doesn't really go the way they want it to. But here's the thing, man, and, and I think I actually heard this on the Joe Rogan podcast. Somebody said this, it was like, nobody is better after two drinks, right? If anything, you become less socially sharp, less aware, and that's gonna crush you. You need to be socially sharp when you're talking to these girls. You need to pick up on the social cues. You need to be able to lead them coherently Otherwise, you're gonna leave the club empty-handed, you're gonna be slurring your speech, and girls are gonna think you're an idiot. That's why when I go out, I like to limit my drinking to really two to three drinks max, and not go overboard, because once you start going overboard, that's when things go haywire. By limiting yourself, you maintain your social sharpness, you don't feel shitty the next day, and you give yourself the best chance at taking a girl home. To put it simply, if you wanna get a boner, don't drink that Corona. guys go out to bars and clubs without having any type of game plan at all and some of these guys can go out and start the conversation well get off to a hot start but then what happens things start to stale out maybe they have a super long conversation and fail to make it sexual maybe they don't figure out the logistics they try to take her home later in the night and it all falls apart or hell maybe they go for that classic long club makeout that guys love to seem to do when they're out and they kill all the sexual tension and the girl excuses herself to go to the bathroom never to return again she gone forever bro the point is you need a game plan if you're trying to get laid man and that means you should have a basic conversation blueprint that you can follow you know understand the logistics understand building compliance and basically understand the things you need to do to take her from hello back to your home and have a great night. Now, if you want a game plan like this that helps you talk to any girl and get her attracted, then bro, I got something awesome for you. I'm offering a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me to a limited number of guys who wanna beat their approach anxiety, get a game plan, and have awesome conversations with girls. And yes, the call is with me, not some other random motherfucker. On the call, we're gonna go over your biggest pain points in dating and give you a game plan to start getting the results you really want. If that sounds good to you, then just hit that first link in the description to schedule your call. Then make sure to fill out the quick application on the next page. 
but do it right now because there's only a very limited number of spots available and I don't want you to miss your chance. So go ahead and make it happen and I'll see you soon. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll stay here to the end. Get up, don't hang your head, we'll take So man, there's really two parts to this. First is just having shitty Jamoke friends who are gonna weigh you down. Listen, man, I know it's it can be a little bit intimidating to go out by yourself, but I can promise you one thing. It's a lot better to go out by yourself than go out with a squad of Jamokes because those Jamokes will cock block you. They will give you shit for trying to talk to girls and they're a recipe for having a bad time. You gotta drop those motherfuckers. Now, the second part of this is even if you're out with cool dudes, you can't just sit in the corner and talk to them all night. Funny story for you guys, Beck, you know, maybe like five, six years ago when I first met Dave from How to Beast, we used to go to the club, just me and him, and sometimes we would just be too comfortable with each other and we would just talk the whole night instead of going out and talking to girls. And we were like, what the fuck are we doing? Why are we doing this? Eventually we got to the point where we would push each other and actually go out and make something happen. But needless to say, it's a pretty easy trap to fall into. Like you're out with some cool guys, you're having a good conversation, and it's easy for that to just be your whole night. But you gotta remember, part of the reason you went out is to go talk to girls. So you gotta break off and go talk to them at some point. Ah! <laughs> I'll put it to you pretty simply, bro. <laughs> Knowing how to dance, even at a basic level, has gotten me more girls at bars and clubs than I can even count. So. The problem that most guys face is that they just suck at dancing and they refuse to learn. But just by putting in a little bit of effort to learn to dance gives you a whole nother option when you're out at the bar or the club. Instead of just going to the bar for a drink or going outside for some fresh air, you now can go to the dance floor, get a lot more physical with the girl, and make things a lot more sexual a lot more quickly. So there's really no reason not to do it. So for God's sake, take a salsa class, take a reggaeton class, take a hip hop class, learn to dance a little bit and make it happen. And honestly, one of the side benefits of learning to dance well is that it does improve your rhythm, which can actually make you better in bed too. Don't sleep on that either. Woke up, told myself the push and never stop. I've been stressed out, watching both these hands around the clock. With my eyes wide, trying to get the panorama shot. Whole world getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. When it comes to the bar and club, a lot of guys like to school girls with a little bit of that hezzy hate. Like they'll, they'll lock on to a girl, they'll look at her all night, and then they'll hesitate and pretty much not do anything and the girl might even notice them and be like what the fuck is this guy's deal but here's the thing man the longer you wait to approach a girl after you see her the more approach anxiety is going to come up and the worse you're going to feel about it so honestly once you see a girl that you want to talk to you should be going up and saying what's up in maximum five minutes you wait any longer than that you're going to get too nervous another guy might go up and talk to her you might lose your chance and it's just not gonna be ideal for you. And trust me, man, there's nothing more painful than when you see a hot girl, you get that gut feeling that you should be talking to her and you wait a little too long and then another guy goes up and talks to her first and you know what, she probably would have been down for you, but now if this other guy's talking to her, you miss your chance. So don't let that happen to you. Be a fast action taker, make shit happen for yourself. Go up and talk to her and you're gonna be good to go. So A lot of guys tend to forget why girls go out in the first place or why really anyone goes out and that is to have a good time to have fun to escape a little bit and that's why it doesn't make sense why so many guys go up and have these boring ass conversations with girls that's a recipe for disaster what you want to do instead is come from a place of adding value to the girl's night instead of trying to take something you know trying to take her trying to pick her up you know you want to add value so how do you do that well, part of that is adding a little bit of fun flirtation. Part of it is having some good conversation, you know, connecting with her a little bit. And part of it is just having good energy, you know, going up with a good attitude. 
just being a happy dude. If you can do that, she's gonna feel your good intentions and your good vibe, and she's gonna enjoy her time with you, and you're gonna have a lot better chance. Now, a couple quick tips for just improving your mood and your vibe before going out. Watch a little stand-up comedy. Get, get, get yourself laughing a little bit. That definitely helps. Aside from that, listen to a podcast like Joe Rogan. That's one thing I like to do. And then also, you know, if you're going out solo, give your buddy a call. Have a quick conversation with them. Get some good vibes there. Get yourself ready to go out. So if there's one thing I see guys do way too often, it's take the easy route. Now, most people take the easy route in life, right? They get the easy job, they always do the easy things, and they get those easy results, which usually are average results or mediocre, and they wonder why they're not happy with their life. Well, in that same type of way, a lot of guys take the easy route when it comes to approaching girls at bars and clubs. They'll see that hot group of two or three girls sitting, sitting at the bar, and they'll be like, oh, I want to talk to them, but then they'll see like maybe the the more average girl standing by herself and they'll be like, you know what, that's an easier approach. I'm just going to go talk to that girl. And they miss out on what could have been with those other three girls. Here's the thing, man. If you're always going for those easier seeming approaches instead of going for the hot girls that you really want, then you're going to get those average results. The crazy part though is a lot of times those approaches that seem like they'd be hard aren't actually that hard. Like that group of two girls, that group of three girls, a lot of times they're gonna be a lot more fun than just that one girl standing by herself. And the only way to know that is if you condition yourself to go up and talk to groups of girls and put yourself in those situations and you realize like, hey, this really isn't that bad. And the other benefit of making you know these harder approaches is that they give you a certain amount of respect from the girls right from the beginning. Like she, she knows like, hey, like this guy's going up and approaching like us too by himself. He's got some balls. Or hey, this guy's approaching us and there's a couple of guys in our group. He must have some confidence. Let's hear what he has to say. And in that type of way, you already have a leg up among other guys and you, you give yourself an extra chance. Now, bro, speaking of getting those results, if you want to be able to pick up girls at bars and clubs pretty much every time you go out, then check out this playlist right here. It's going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's keep it going. I'll see you right here, homie.